Suppose you have a collection of music, like 100 scores or 200 scores or 800 scores of Irish folk music. We wondered whether an algorithm, a computer, would be able to extract the essential structure of this kind of music. And that's what we did. We trained a neural network and in the end it was able to produce music of exactly that style. Well, in the past people more looked like musicology textbooks and considered the rules, programmed the rules into the computer. Whereas we said, let's just work with examples and train up the algorithm, train up the computer so that it would discover the rules on its own. We built this uh, data set comprising a lot of uh, different songs from the klezmer and Irish types. We train this algorithm in order to uh, predict for each of these songs what's going to be the next note in this song. We train it over and over so that we get more and more accurate predictions through the magic of deep learning. Once we've reached these states, uh, we can actually generate infinite number of new songs using the rules that, uh, of the styles that we extracted. For me, I would like to extend this work towards adding more voices, because now it only works for single voices, and uh, eventually be able to produce full pieces that could be played by an orchestra. Well, we are really at the very beginning, so it's quite early to look into the future. Now, in a more general, uh, in a more general setting, if you think really long term, you can, for example, think of a music production for film music or video music, where on demand, on the fly, you would have to generate music. But I'm more interested also in the relation to the brain and cognitive science. Music is something very complicated. It has an interesting structure. It's processed in different areas of the brain. And in the end, we are interested also to use these kinds of tools to understand the brain better.